hello. How are y'all doing today? Welcome to our channel. Let's see who, uh, let's see who pulls out today. Spirit, who is this? Please no. Okay, it pertains to Aries. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I appreciate you for, uh, viewing my channel. I thank you very much for that. I hope I can give you a little bit of clarity and if you like what I do please hit subscribe if you feel my vibe um, I'm trying to get around this first community and I appreciate each and every one of y'all and excuse me I smoke sometimes I've had to endure a lot on here though so you'll have to watch my videos and you'll see but anyways and that's why I still smoke I, I take pleasure in it for some reason I don't know I'm just being honest with you I mean I can be honest about things I'm trying to slow down, though. But, you know, the Indians, they uh, always uh, smoke tobacco. Did you know that? I would smoke a pot, but my husband would be like, you can't do that. People will think that you're a whore. You know, like if you smoke a cigar or something. You know how some of them says that? That's what it means. Okay. Uh, let's see. Who else is this spirit? It might just be an Aries, Pisces, and Taurus. We'll see. Aquarius. <laughs> I got it because it went sideways. Ooh, Aquarius, you went sideways. Somebody said. <laughs> Alright, so what I pulled out is. Thank you for that spirit. This is a vowel. Uh, th this is about bearing witness to shift towards destiny. It's about the promise of a gathering, the the contract. So you've got a contract, and it's and, and you're shifting towards your destiny at the moment, and um, you're gathering up your tribe, and you know. But now, if you're in dark energy, it would be your unconscious vows. What you did unconsciously uh, in, your, in your mind, you understand? This is about unkept promises. Receiving some messy or harsh karma. But that, that's not what it is, because I can tell by how the rest of the energy pulled out. You're taking action on your path at the moment. You, you feel sensitive, but you're cultivating up... Uh, some plans to collaborate with people. That's what that says. This energy, you read it like this. That's what it says. You know, maybe you um, your birthday's the eleventh, the second, the twelfth, or the first, or the twenty second, or the eleventh. Well, I don't say eleventh or the twenty first. Okay, if it was your birthdays. So if you notice up here, we got one one two two one one. So maybe you see 11, 12, and 2, 11 a lot. Oh, I love you, Spirit 322. <laughs> I hope I can help you all. Uh, I like looking up angel numbers. That's what led me to my destiny. Yeah, it was, and this is my destiny, and I'm not going anywhere because I love doing this. And I know I'm going to be a service to others because it says it to me But every day if I ask something about myself because I can do that. You're not allowed to ask about other readers, though. You're not allowed to ask shit on them, because when you do, there's karma attached to it, yeah. And, uh, and I know that. Oh, and right here, this is about a caring connection. This is about you. You have somebody that you think about a lot. They're, they just bring you a lot of joy in. And maybe Divine Mascon wants to come bring you some flowers. Oh, and then we got Archangel Shemuel. This is about your third chakra, your uh, solar plexus. And your solar plexus, I think, is your creativity. And, uh, oh, no, it's about your self-esteem and uh, your pleasure. What makes you pleasurable? And what makes you pleasurable, guess what, is your caring connection. Oh, maybe you're with your person like I am. I mean, you know, not a lot of readers has... Uh, uh, partners, and then a lot of them do. Uh, you know what I mean? So I'm I'm one of them that does have a partner, and I'm married, and I appreciate him, you know. And uh, but what I was going to say is, you got the willpower to do and anything that you need done in your life, and you can take personal responsibility. That's what you did. 
and imbalance would be uh, low self-esteem, control issues, manipulative tendencies, and misuse of power. Okay, we'll see what the rest of it says, and we'll know if that energy come out imbalanced or not. Okay, so then we got indecision. Oh, so somebody was feeling imbalanced in your relationship, and maybe it was you, you know, woman or man, it was one of you all. And, uh, what it says here is the thinking man. So maybe, maybe, uh, they some man thinking about if he should come towards you or something at the moment, whoever's listening to me. But it's telling you right now, there's a storm warning. He's thinking that a storm's coming towards you. You know, like the total end, loss, destruction, tire the hell out of everything, you know. That's what storm is, all right. Oh, and it's coming to your relationship. He can't stop thinking about it. It says, I call in the infinite power of love to take over this union in every way. May it now fully belong to the divine. Let it unfold in the perfect way for each of us. I needn't fear letting go of control. My needs are always abundantly met. Oh, you, did you hear that? It says, I need it. I need it. Need not fear letting go of control. My needs are always abundantly met. Okay, so maybe this, uh, you know, you surrendered to the power of love to take over this union in every way, and uh, now it's fully belonging to the divine, and maybe uh, this person can't stop thinking about you because they want to come and see you. This is the door to personal healing and happiness. Look. They want to come and be fruitful and abundant with you, you know. They want to be happy and love you. And back there's a peacock. See the peacock at the end of the rainbow and the dove. So see, they're, you're their peacock. <laughs> oh, and, 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 and it's telling you, just love you down self. That's what your partner's telling you. It says the innermost heart says you are enough. Nowhere to go, nothing to get, nothing to change. No need to grow more deserving. You, yes, you are love. So just, just love yourself that, and be enough. You're always enough. Don't doubt it. And then here's the seventh chakra come out, Archangel Uriel, and this is about your, uh, your crown chakra. And you, you, um, telling yourself that you are enough for this love of this spirituality that you're going through at the moment. Maybe you're a healer. You're, uh, and I know you are because it done pulled out up here. And maybe you're 41, and hey, that's how old I am. And maybe it's telling me right now that when when you're 41, your crown chakra chakra will be totally popping, and it will. A lot of people, you know, because you change like every 20 years, yeah. So I know I've totally changed from when I was 21 to 41. Oh hell yeah. <laughs> oh yeah yeah. Oh uh, wow, well, mo, man, we know how to make good love too. We do because we've been together 22 years. Oh, and here we got the thing him woman. So what I think is you and your partner's been thinking a lot about if you're enough for each other because maybe you've been feeling pulled or frazzled at you and him both since both thinking man and thinking woman came out. I think both of y'all can get each get each other off each other's minds. That's what I think it means. <laughs> because the angel of love come. Oh, wow. And they love you so. And maybe your partner's 47. Oh, wow. Mine is. My, my partner is 47. Maybe it's telling me that I'm the divine masculine thinking man and he's the divine feminine thinking woman. I, oh, did you hear that just then? It might be. You never know, y'all. Oh, but the angel's love is helping you all right now. And it's talking about you stop using the universe to try and get what you want. And you start asking love to use you. You offer all and want to be of service. Ironically, many desires become fulfilled without grasping or manipulating the situation. So, you know, to be of service, it's telling you to say, please, I'm offering to let love use me. That's how y'all say it. Say, I'm offering love to let love use me, divine. So... That way you, you you don't manipulate. You're just doing it out of love, and 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 you're you and your partner is showing each other this, and y'all just went through a little 
cheesy, frazzled moment, you know. This is all energy for me about this indecision and stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it's, it's all different for all of us. I'm just telling you for my part. Okay, you guys? So don't get mad. I'm trying to help us all. I'm trying to help all of us now. I don't know if it's present energy for you all or future because i'm not doing a personal reading for you you know what i'm saying like i'm doing it for a bunch of different people all right so um <laughs> if i if i ever open up my readings to the public i'll let you know and if you're new and you've watched it this far please hit subscribe i thank you guys oh and look here this is about teaching and sharing you're instilling in others what you know you're instructing them to educate themselves you need to get the best education that you can, you guys. And maybe you're a, you're a Buddhist, and that's okay if you are. And I love y'all, and I hope I can, you know, help with you all. And I'm sorry that sometimes I cuss if y'all hear me, you all. And I'm sorry. And I know, and I know it that it's not if you heard me. I don't know you did hurt me. And I'm sorry, you all. I was good not cussing any, and then here I got that cuss bits back. Do y'all ever do that? 11, 11, twin flame, I love you. Oh, be my twin flame. I love him so. Oh, I'll get my old bed in a minute with him. Oh, earth magic. This is about nature, rituals, and charms. Maybe you're somebody that does rituals. Uh, maybe you just go outside and you connect with nature. Maybe you're like, I wonder if I lived in the time back when the trees, they talked to us. See how this tree hits over here, got a face and stuff. You're just going outside and noticing faces in trees and things like that. And that's cool. And that's and that spirits guide you to pay attention to outside, cause outside I'll tell you some good stuff. And I love looking in the stars. And then I I saw, I saw four orbs, four orbs. I don't know if they're satellites or not, y'all, cause some of these satellites that they say, like oh, as I said, satellites, they're way way tall. Like you can barely see them. I'm like. What now? Satellites would be a little bit closer to us, like if it's for teeth or something. I don't know. It's just weird, cause I watched I watched one thing back in probably like 1992 or three when I was like 12 or 13, and I know my aunt and uncle would remember this. Uh, but me and them and my cousins, my two girl cousins, we was standing outside at night and uh, a star. I mean, not a star, a ball like. You know, it was it looked this big around, and it went zoo, 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 zoo. I never seen nothing like that in my life. Now, what was that? What was that? We all seen it. Do y'all remember? If y'all remember it, hit a little like, hit a little subscribe. I thank y'all. Oh wow! Well, and so you're just in, when you when spirit guides you, you're you've got insight because you're older now and you you went through a lot of things and you you've had this insight since birth a lot of y'all because you you've always had guidance but we all do from these spirit guides some of us are more wired than others because this is our purpose we we're supposed to help y'all and tell y'all uh that you got to connect with that to feel it now you guys but this is about awakening your inner shaman <laughs> I wish I was uh, dancing around a fire like it. I love going outside at fires, don't you all? Don't you all? And toasting and making you some s'mores and just sitting around the campfire or getting drunk back in the day. That's what we used to do, yeah. We partied at the cabin like that. But you're connecting right now. Ooh, and you could be doing some invocations. Um, you know, you're just trying to get the spirits to help you heal, maybe. If you listen to stuff like that, it really helps you. It helps you so, so much. It, it, it helps. It, it just helps you awaken and make you feel alive. Y'all need to listen to that on YouTube. You know what? You can listen to like the old shamanic uh, ritual songs like I, I was just doing. They'll go like, hey, uh, hey, uh, and they use their flutes and a bunch of different things. And I like listening to that stuff, you all. But somebody's open to love at the moment. This is about something. Uh, you're connecting. Uh, you're you're connecting and invoking these spirits to help you heal your relationship. Yeah, I did. Oh wow, well, spirit! I thank you for it. And that's why you got a passion and you feel fulfilled. That's all it is. Oh, and it, it's telling somebody you better get into nature now and coexist and and gather 
gather up you uh, whatever you're out there gathering in nature and you're bringing it back and maybe you're mixing up some herbs and you're coming in and putting them in a pot and making some tea and that's good and this is talking about limit to limit to waste you're uh you're not wasting uh money like you used to did i know that uh that's that's all i can get from that card you guys but y'all might get more than that i just tell you what i got from it Oh, and it says, uh, trust. This this was over here by itself, and I pulled it out because I was like, where's my cards? I don't know, but they weren't in here where this one was. You need to ask yourself what it is that, that you're wanting. You need to listen to what those little whispers of self tells you, and you need to allow this to take place and trust that it will. Just trust. Let go of a... Uh, hurried up hurried up fast you know we all get like that in a hurry sometimes and we gotta we need to slow our hind ends down that's that's all you can do you know what 1555 <laughs> oh well you got a new beginning and you're changing oh and these two look these two fell out i just found them right here i did i, I guess i hit it just then this is about a soul connection a partnership between you two and y'all at it you're you know, this is an agreement between soulmates. You all made this. Whether you're actually in a marriage or you're not, you might have had a, a soul contract from many, many, many years ago when you come back this life to fulfill that contract. But uh, you all mirror each other, and, uh, you know, your relationships reflect your wounds. Our wounds, whoever's hurt us, we feel wounded and hurt by that. That's... That's what that's talking about. You need to do a lot of introspection, you and your soulmate. That's what it said. Okay, so, uh, what was I at? I believe I skipped all the way on. Hang on, you all. This is about, you're in the incubation phase. Uh, you're getting downloads of, um, your, your Egyptian knowledge. And, um, Maybe that's when the spirits is give they're going to give you a dream tonight, and you're and you need to write down as soon as you wake up anything that you remember your dream, and that's a download. Are you listening? Now, y'all, I I'm being honest with you. I I don't have dreams a lot, and when I do, I tell you about them, and I I'm glad I don't because I used to have a lot of bad dreams and things happen to me. You also, I know that my spirit guides protect me with my dreams, and I sleep peaceful. And I thank you for that, spirit guides. I love you. Oh, and it's about spells and alchemy. Uh, maybe in your dreams at night you feel sensitive because they did spells on you. That's what it's saying. And uh, you're, you you got to send them prayers up. So you got to send them smoke prayers up so this, these down spells won't get to you and make you feel sensitive. And thank you for teaching me that just in spirit. I love you because... Yeah, I was a little sensitive our last week and things, and uh, and I thank you for showing me what I needed to do. So just make sure that you pray every night, and these spells cannot get to you. And you can go around and smoke. You can smoke tobacco or make a big fire outside, a bonfire. You know, or if you got a little fire pit at your on your porch or something, you can do that. And and uh and trust yourself that your prayers is being answered because they are. Because you made a vow. This is about a promise you made with yourself. You know, this is about your soul is witnessing. And then it says watcher. Uh, but it's witnessing and accepting new aspects of yourself. That's what you're doing at the moment. This was about offering. It's about uh, uh, generosity, donations, volunteering. Maybe somebody's going to start donating to you. And if y'all do, I greatly appreciate it, you all. Because every little bit of help that I get... Of donation that I get, I'm gonna put it on card. So yeah, I appreciate it, you know. But uh, you could be volunteering your time at the moment, like me. I volunteer myself here. Uh, I mean, I don't make any money. I said if somebody was generous with me, I told you what I would do with it. You know, that's all I'm telling y'all. But this is about a gift that you have. This gift that that you're living in this present moment. You're you're able to talk about things in the present because, you know, all that old energy, you, you know all kinds of types of energy, and you can talk about it in the present moment. You know, this is about a sacrifice. You made the sacrifice of offering up yourself for spirit to talk, be a guide for others, and to heal, the healer. This is about um, 
you're a light worker. You're very gifted. You're an old soul, you know. You, you've lived a long time. That's why you, you, you came, a lot of you come from way out of this world, you know, and maybe you're just grateful. You're grateful to be awake, and, you know, you could be self-centered, you know, and, and all that means is your 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 body and, and your your mind, body, and spirit. You're all in line. That's what that's talking about. You're centered. Your soul is centered. That's what it's talking about. All right, now let's see what it says. Your sacral chakra. It says, I feel comfortable in my own body, and I'm sensitive to other people's feelings. Yeah, because you're an empath. You're a healer. You done said it. And the air element helps you. It says, I embrace the air element and am open to all knowledge and wisdom. That's why Aquarius pulled out. See, I love you, spirit. I love you all. I do. Oh, and earth element. Look, earth element. Look, air, earth, water, fire. I love you, spirit. So here y'all are. All elements is working together right now for me, too. Yes. Oh, and it says, I gradually accept the abundance the earth bestows upon me. I thank you, Spirit, for every little bit of thing you give me. I'm so grateful for it. Maybe you got long brown, uh, brownish, reddish hair. Look how pretty it is. And it's hanging over a tree. Ain't that pretty? Oh, and abundance. It, abundance twice. It says, I am grateful for the abundance that nature and the universe provides in my life. I'm grateful for every little bit of food and every little beautiful beauty thing that i see in the world and just breathing every day i'm grateful for all the abundance i'm grateful for my my gifts that you give me that's that's that runs over plenty and my emotions overflow aquarius look see that's why i come out see aquarius this is how you've always been grateful for just being alive and you can pour out your emotions and show others it's okay you guys you can get through anything we're all going to have hard times. It's just, you got to get through it, you know. It, oh, and of course, and of course, you know, you're, you're, a, you're an alchemist. And you can turn your goals into golden wisdom. That's what it means. And they're a gossip, honey. And you're just telling people to have a little bit of considerations for the feelings of others. People out here that love to gossip, you need to consider others. And honor trust. That's what this fucking card means. You need to honor trust and not betray confidences and blab. That's what I'm trying to teach you all. Stop doing that shit. Quit running back and forth and amongst your all groups and talking and telling things. Especially if you don't know fucking jack shit about that person. You're a guide. This represents the nature of the divine in life and in yourself. You're guiding these people. But through your vision. A uh, capacity to envision what is not yet conceivable to others. A willingness to proclaim a vision without regard for personal gain. I just told y'all I didn't care if I got paid. I'd be grateful for it because I'm grateful for what what I get right now. You know, I, I, I'm thankful for my husband. I, I, I always have been. I appreciate him. Oh, and here you go. Goddess. Oh, you're a visionary goddess. This is the feminine expressed through wisdom, nature, life force, and sensuality. And, and you know, you're just... People's gospel that you're a guy that's got a vision and you're uh, uh, that you're a goddess. Oh well, let them blab. We don't care, do we? We don't care, you guys. And I like this. One. And we got Arwen, the master of the great hunt. You got the authority to do this hunt. You, you, because this is about natural balance. The universe is bringing about natural balance. Look, Ar Arwen, because you put it in the plane of divine and you're on this hunt. Oh wow, well, and you're you maybe you. An authority figure is uh, coming on your ice. Oh, and we got Phantos, the Warden of Dis. Oh, is that destruction? I don't know. It looks like he's going to burn down something. But but then he's got a little butterfly right there on him. It's like war. It's like war and love. <laughs> oh, this is about completion. You got support. Expendency. What's that mean? Expendency. Like, not... Like, somebody didn't care to just... I don't know. I don't know what it means. Y'all can let me know. Uh, I don't have time to look it up, y'all. It's late. I don't know what time it is. Probably about 11 or something, and I'm getting tired. It's about the ageless and the light and the darkness. It's You're just healing, and you do things graciously. You're accepting this. It's about graciousness. It's grace shed upon you, and I thank you, Spirit, for doing this. And 
and you still had a light in your hand during all this time of darkness that you felt lost. You know it. You know why? Because this is why. Because Osiris, the king god of Duat, was helping you. Look there. I thank you, Ra, Osiris. We appreciate you. And this is about a commitment. Uh, this is about acquisition, taking responsibility. This is you. You committed yourself to this a long time ago. Look. There you are, High Priestess. You committed yourself to this years and years ago. You know? Uh, so you have support from Phantos and Arwen. And, and you all used to do hunts back in the day, it says. And, and you took responsibility to stand in your calling. This is about an eternal servitor. The Ancient Wanderer. You're a hope for all, and you know, you'll have this incompleteness feeling and yearning inside of yourself, and that's why it's like the world is in this servitor's hands up here, you know? It's just like, you're always gonna be yearning and searching for more because you're 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 a healer, you're a light worker, you're a starseed old soul, so you're always gonna be yearning and searching. And you did this back way long ago because that's why all this old energy come out you know osiris and stuff i love you spirit don't y'all love me do you love me hit subscribe please oh and somebody said somebody is surrendering your power of choice to the divine with complete trust you stop being a puppet on a string to these narcissists oh and thief and this sheds light on the potential wealth within you that can never be stolen so you you Put it in divine's hand, and nobody can steal from you. No, it, it might, you you may be used to wire your heart on your sleeve, but somebody could be stealing money from you too, and your creative ideas. But this is about innocence and purity and, and redemption. It suggests a special connection with the divine. You're you're like if you didn't want to steal, oh well, that's okay. Whatever, you know, I put it in divine, and it's all about it'll be okay. It'll be okay. And then the warrior come out. This is strength, skill, discipline, and toughness of willpower. You, it's about heroism, stoicism, and self-sacrifice and conquering the ego. You're, you're teaching others not to worry about what people, place, and things think. They're always going to run their mouth about you. Don't let it bother you, though. Don't let it bother you. Don't be their fucking puppet anymore. Do everything they say. Tell them, no, no, I put my foot down. No. You're destroying them bullies by saying, no, I put my foot down. I'm not doing that. That you, you, You're releasing what is destructive in your life. And you're like, no, you're preparing for a new life. That's why you're destroying all these damn bullies. All these people want to bully and tell you it's crazy. And uh, you did their da every damn thing for them all the time. And the thieves around but they're just, they didn't want you to blab about, you know, your verbal or physical abuse. You're destroying these bullies, these bully narcs. Oh, wow, and I'm proud of you all. I'm proud of you. Let me give you uh, one of these, and then I'm going to get off here, y'all. Spirit, tell us a good new message. One of my angels. Your hands that work miracles in others' lives. Your angels gave you a gift of prayer knowledge. The angels help people that pray from a pure and honest heart space. So, you got a pure and honest heart, these special hands that work miracles in others' lives. And I appreciate these angel gifts that you give me. And nobody has my permission to copy these. And I got 81 cards, and I'm the one that thought all of them, and I'm the one that made them. And somebody thinks you're magical and magical, delicious, and poof delicious. And they said, Your angels gave you the gift of bringing magic back to dying relationships. You have magical powers within yourself, and it heals the hearts of many people. Look, heart, heart, you're magical and delicious. You're magically delicious. Lucky charms. Oh, wow. <laughs> Your angels gave you the gift of being a, <laughs> a trustworthy friend. And the angels will always lead you away from so-called friends that are actually against you. Your angels gave you the gift to know if you got shitty friends. Oh, or good friends. They lead you away from bad people. Ain't that good? Yeah. Oh, and look on the bottom. Oh, thank you for it, spirit. Your angels gave you the gift to read people's futures. You've shown them this when you was a child predicting certain things to come, and it did. Oh, yeah, it did. I did do that. All right. Well, I love you guys, and I appreciate each and every one of y'all, and I hope it's helped you tonight. 
And I appreciate you. And I'm going to get off here and go talk to my old man. Woo, woo. We're going to go to bed. I can't wait to get some rest. But I hope this helps somebody tonight. And I'll just try to give you a little smile on your face. Okay? I love you. And if y'all love me, go ahead and hit subscribe and like. And I thank you very much. And I'll see you back here tomorrow morning. Peace.